Hockey just isn't fair sometimes. And last night's game between the Leafs and Kings, forward Nick Robertson got hurt off this interference play with Kings defenseman Matt Roy. First, I do want to talk about the hit quickly because I did see some people calling it dirty. The interference call was right because Robertson hadn't touched the puck yet despite being close to it. At first, I thought Robertson initiated the contact, but then seeing this angle here, it looks like Roy initiates contact in the anticipation that he's going to be met with some sort of resistance. Robertson, being a smaller player in nature, gets the worst end of it and loses his balance. I don't think there was an intent to injure on this play. We see players all the time preemptively make contact before to battle for a puck and it usually ends with both players on their feet and no interference call. This is just an unfortunate outcome on a relatively standard play. From a team perspective, I mean ideally you'd like to see someone step in there and get in Roy's face for doing that to a young player like Robertson, but that's been the knock on the Leafs for years and often overblown in my opinion. I think it's still important to send that message in this circumstance. Now if you don't watch the Leafs and the last name sounds familiar, that's because his brother is one of the hottest players in the NHL right now. If you do follow the Leafs, you know how frustrating of a journey this has been for Robertson up until this point. As a highly touted rookie who led the OHL in scoring in his last year in junior, and he did it at a historic pace despite being injured, Robertson has shown that he's had some potential. After scoring a playoff goal in the bubble in 2020 for the Leafs and then being sent down the following season, Robertson would fracture his fibula in the minors and miss 10 weeks, only to come back to the Leafs and sustain a knee injury. Fast forward to this year where Robertson has struck struggled to get into the lineup consistently and as a player who has had flashes of being ready being sat when you feel like you deserve to be out there is hard on the confidence but when you're a young player trying to make one of the top teams in the nhl you have to work twice as hard and be twice as good for the coach to keep you in the lineup averaging 11 minutes a night you want to prove what you can do with every second because if you don't you may be sitting the very next game robertson dressed for his third consecutive game in a top six role before getting hurt and the worst part is that it seems to be long term even sheldon keith said just how much he feels for Robertson with this unfortunate setback because they know how hard he's worked to get to this point. Sometimes as a player, you can do everything right and things still won't fall your way. It's the nature of the game and sometimes it can really suck. Mentally, this can be so discouraging, but I think the only way to look at it is what's happened has happened and that all we can control is the current moment. For Robertson, all he can do is focus on his rehab, then his conditioning, and then just take it one day at a time. Injuries and external things we can't control happen every day, but what we can control are our actions and emotions. And for Robertson, Robertson's situation, he's got to take it day by day and not let it destroy his confidence. Easier said than done, but I do hope he makes a full recovery and comes back to torch absolutely everything with what he's gone through. Let me know if you've gone through something similar with injuries or if there's another player in the league right now who's had a bad string of luck like this. Personally, I'd say Nolan Patrick with his concussion history. We did talk about that in a recent video, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave that link right here.